for the American League Championship Series between the Kansas City Royals and the New York Yankees. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. Well, I think this series has played out exactly how we expected it to. At two games to one, it's been tightly contested back and forth. We've got two teams worthy of being here, and I think this will go at least six games before it's all said and done. All right. The stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Jamison Tyon is the man on the mound for the fourth game of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Matt, we're getting a chance to see a very talented right-hander here in Jamison Tyon. His stuff has always played well. It's just a matter of staying lucky and staying healthy. This guy has what it takes to be a solid Major League pitcher. So now here is Bo Jackson, and Leading we are set for court, baseball Kansas here this evening. The center fielder, number 16. Here's the first pitch to him. And we are underway here in the Bronx as the first pitch of the evening is taken for ball one. And back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 now. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Now the 2 0 home. Oh. Yeah, a little wild here early on. Doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet. Hopefully, he can find it soon. Fastball is in there. Finally got one over. Nothing worse than starting the game with a four pitch walk. Three and two, a full count to the Royal Center fielder. Yeah, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in the game when guys get count leverage and take fastballs. It's a game of fastballs. You calibrate everything off the heater. Surprising take right there. The 3-2 pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. First delivery to him. Eddie Rosario is at the plate now and he takes a cold strike. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. A runner in first with no outs here. Outside at 94, one ball and one strike. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Yeah. Fastball called strike. One and two. and deals swinging a ball hit on the ground runner. runner going a second time very weakly on the ground 
Here he comes again, one, two. Running yet again for second. He swings and misses, throw down. He's not gonna get him as he swipes second. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. So now to the plate, Brad Zunica, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. In the dirt, and now let's see. Throw goes to third, and oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. One out and a runner on third. Pulled toward right center field. Judge is on his horse. It's over his head, and they're going to take the lead. He's in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. And up steps Salvador Perez. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you, in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. Two balls and no strikes. Now the 2-0. Runner at second here with one man out. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Drives it to deep right field. Racing back the right fielder. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. And the Royals have moved out to a three-to-nothing lead. Well, people always wonder why some players make so much money, and there's your answer. The great ones find a way to rise to the occasion in the postseason, and he did right there. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Wind up and the 0 1. Hard liner to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. That is it. A chance now for a look at the Royals' starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, Sel Perez is definitely a guy to watch right now. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. That will bring in Bobby Witt Jr. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Three runs already home here. Hey. 
nope. well above the letters with the fastball that time. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And that catches the high outside corner, one and two now. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Count remains full. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Man, that you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, out. but especially yeah, to a speed demon yeah. like him, good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. Runner at first with two gone in the inning, and up next will be Gavin Lux. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh with that base running threat on first base man does that change the pitcher's whole mentality this guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him the one oh rip down the line but a foul ball one and one Has a look, now the pitch. Line drive to center field. Judge gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the first coming up from the Bronx. It's now 3-0 Royals. Carlos Hernandez will be on the mound for game four. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty D, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable Four pitchers the in the game. So now up That's steps Isaiah kiner Falefa. They lead things off here in the Isaiah bottom half of the first. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Too high. Nope. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3 0 -oh count. And that misses ball four. So that's just what you hope for here in the first. Base runners as you try to claw back into this one. Batting second. The third baseman. Now with the plate, DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. First pitch of the A-B on its way. 1-0. The 1-0. High and deep to right center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Oh, 
That is. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Matt, I can't wait to see what Aaron Judge has in store. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Aaron Judge comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Now a throw over runner back standing. Wave dad and missed as he took something off there one and one and set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Dero this Gary Simmons he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah I'm OK with it though Dan you want to go east west I'll make the adjustment it's the north south that'll kill you and it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. To two balls and two strikes now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one but the execution was flawless nice curveball that starts oh, in the zone and breaks just out just a great take by the batter. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder got to execute a good pitch right here runner at first is probably going to be on the move and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate throw over to the bag back in standing. Kiner Falefa base runner at first with one out. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Another full count pitch home. Line to the right side. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. He's at the knees and called strike three. And with two away now, let's give you a look at what's happening in the National League Championship Series as they've got a good one brewing over there as well. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Line drive. That's a base hit into the right center field gap. The relay, but he'll be in there with a double. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. The second big he's lucky he's getting this baseball Wait, back. Go Next up will be Glaber Torres as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two men are in scoring position for him so he'll look to make this a one run game with a base hit here and he just manages to get his hand in. The set and the 1 0. Hey I love that pitch right there better execution after just giving up an extra base hit. Ball and two strikes now. 
Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get that, uh, we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? No runs, a hit, two left. On to the second inning now from Yankee Stadium. It's the Royals three and the Yankees nothing. Now to the plate, number 22. He'll take his first tax here. For me, this is an important add on inning here. Their little lead is cute. I like it, but keeping the pressure on, building that lead. That's how you bury someone. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Just hung in there on that one. Again, a one two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so oh, inviting yeah. to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Into the box now, Stephen Moya, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Ah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. I get it, he wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. A swing and a miss for out number two and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. He's looking a lot sharper and settled in here at the second inning. It'd be hard not to because that first inning was pretty much a mess. But I give him credit for letting it go and making some really good adjustments. At the plate, Bo Jackson. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. He worked the walk to open up the ball game. Strike. Pitch is piling up 44, and he's not clear of the second yet. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Usually, you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Royals go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Miguel Andujar. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Miguel. First pitch on its way. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. Gone! So a 
solo shot here to left center field his second home run of the series and that will put the Yankees on the board it's a three to one ball game. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. That is seven. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. And the Yank just fouled. Base is empty here with nobody out. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Fouled off. Breaking ball misses the corner two balls and two strikes when a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now you have to take a deep breath you can't start trying to guess along with him trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball 2 2 is a changeup that misses three and two well you don't see it all that often but this might be a good time for a three two change if he can locate it it's nearly impossible to hit and it's fouled away. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed then he's late on the fastball he could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound and he misses here for ball four already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work batting eight, the right field striding in is Joey Gallo. Gallo. to the at bat to check on first and he'll be back in standing up now here's the first offering Rizzo aboard here at first with nobody out just off the outside that time laid off for a ball well, you have to have a lot of confidence and composure to pitch effectively, and right now, I'm just not seeing it. He looks kind of rattled out there to me. Now a throw over to first, and he's back easily. Hold hard, but it's foul down the first base side. Now the 2 1 makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Here now the 2 2 is swung on and missed strike three. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind Batting 2 0 to start the at bat. The That's a pretty bad Jake place said. to be, but then he kind of Just refocused throw. himself and came right back with. Three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in as he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0 and 1. Runners on first with one down. Fouled away. Here's the 0 and 2. And he fouls this one off. One and two to the Yankees catcher. A 
Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. One of the big advantages to pitching ahead in the count if you're a pitcher, because you have to cover both pitches if you're a hitter. You have to cover the off speed and the fastball. And in a one two count, you might be sitting off speed. And what happens? He gets the fastball, and he can't catch up to the express. Standing in now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in a strike. A runner on first with two away. Back up the middle, reined in. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. The Yankees claw back a bit thanks to the home run. We've played two. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi? At the plate now is Eddie Rosario. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now that the first Zunica. Next to hit is Brad Zunica. He doubled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. Third inning here, three to one our score. Popped him up. Castro over to his left, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now that the designated hitter. Salvador Perez. So two away here in the Kansas City third. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off speed, but stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside for a ball, one and one. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. This is good patience here to work at the three and one especially after two quick outs to start the inning even if you don't end up getting a hit or drawing a walk at least you're making the guy work a little bit and giving your pitcher a chance to rest a little. Full count still. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. KC down in order, and it's still three to one. Josh DeMont is going to jump into this one much earlier than I think he ever anticipated. Josh DeMont. And that sends DJ LeMahieu into the box. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 
Love Mayhew. First offering. I couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. The pitch. Hey. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Number 22 is there, and he has it for the out. Now batting, center fielder, Aaron. Now one down with the bases empty, and that'll bring up the big bat of Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And that misses two and two. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came now after an absolute missile of a fastball. Good Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand. It's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. Giancarlo Stanton now. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at a first pitch fastball for strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Ball one. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate, even though it's early on. You've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Two out, nobody on. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. All set for the start of the inning, and with it brings the left-handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. Now the first pitch. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and all. And a fastball in there for a strike one and one. Here's the pitch. The ball and two strikes. Hey that's a great job by the pitcher right there stealing the strike with that get me over breaking ball and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two. I know he missed with a fastball right there but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. Here now the two two. A bouncer to the left side and that's through for a hit. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. 
the third As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. And now Bobby Witt Jr. as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He drew a base on balls his first time up. A one pitch on its way. Now a swing and a miss and things are not looking real promising here down 0 and 2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk coming right after him here. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he got him. So stepping in is Gavin Lux. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Benintendi leads off second with one gone in the inning. Ball. Two and oh now. He's going to have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning. Because if he's not going to get those calls, he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate. And that usually means damage done. Two and zero oh count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Now, after back to back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance the of back. making that leadoff number double 22. pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. At the plate now, number 22. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This is one and one. Fouled off. One and two, here it comes. Lays off, two and two now. From the stretch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball. And the hitter just fouls that one off. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Next to stand in is Stephen Moya, and they're runners at the corners now. First pitch coming, here it is. 
as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one after the walk and with runners on the bags he couldn't afford to fall behind here nice job of jumping ahead with strike one three runs three hits and no errors so far for the Royals and this misses the outside corner so it's knotted up at one and one and some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. One ball, two strikes, down. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Royals strand a pair as the lead remains three to one. for the last half of the inning and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Here's the first pitch. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Woo wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Up man. I really like a pitcher that That's trusts and hitter. works off his fastball Miguel. right there. He decided I'm he didn't need hard. to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Daniel Lynch, a lefty standing now six foot six, Royals. takes over the pitching duties Number here. 52. Daniel. Here's Miguel Andujar now. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1 behind 0 and 2 now. Now the pitch. Swinging a ball line softly down the left field line. But a foul ball and the count holds at 0 and 2. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. Anthony. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, that's it. fouled away here's another one two 
And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They still trail it here three to one. Now back to the top of the lineup, He's stepping in. Bo Jackson struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this evening. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Down the third baseline. Again, another foul ball. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here, take a deep breath after that high fastball. You've got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Fastball laid off well below the knees. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. From 0-2 to 3-2, and what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Popped up. Rizzo is right there. One gone. The batter, the second baseman, Eddie Rosario. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound, and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Ladies Domingo Herman, a right, six foot two inch right hander, jogs now in to take over on the mound. Number 55. Domingo Herman. Next to dig in, Eddie Rosario. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now here it comes. In there, and it's 0 and 1. You like the modern style of baseball, here it is. Both starters kept their teams in the game. It's close right now. Now we hand it over to the nasty bullpens. Let's see what matchups are going to take place. A ball and a strike now. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball that time. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into right field for a one out single. Up next to the Royals, the first baseman, Brad Zuna. Into the box, Brad Zunica. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Herman typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen resulting in low walk totals although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. One of the keys for this guy Matt is not being afraid to pack the strike zone. With that said he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that Matty V he leaves a lot of pitches up of the strike zone. He needs to be down in the zone when he's effective. Here's the one one. Now Alberto Mondesi will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 27, Adalberto Mondesi. He's 
set and the 2 1 pitch. Pitch inside. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move, and it worked out nicely for them. Just got to drive them in now. Mondesi, the runner at second with one away. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? Fouled away. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. On a line to shortstop. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Up next to the world, the designated hitter, Salvador Perez. So two are gone now in the Royal Fifth. And up next, the former World Series hero, Salvador Perez. Here's the first pitch. Well, if you can throw it for a strike consistently, a first pitch changeup is effective. Hitters are almost never looking for it. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Big swing and a miss at the fastball. He's behind in the count. Oh, and two. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. The throw to first is in time and the inning is over. One left for Kansas City and it's still 3 to 1. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. Your and he told me he's please. pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at now pitches out of the zone base. all game, which Number obviously doesn't usually lead to Adelberto. good results. Until they start Number being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. For the Yankees, the right field, Joey. And now the first pitch. Joey Gallo is at the plate as he watches ball one. There's that slider truly in an unhittable spot. It's one and one. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A.B. and start the line moving again. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. With that, the Yankees have put their leadoff hitter aboard to start out the inning. Dan, how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup? I mean, even the eight, nine hitters are solid. These days, you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days, there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat. To the plate now, Jason Castro. One ball, no strikes, the count. One run on three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And the runner back easily. The 
1-0 pitch on the way. Inside with the breaking ball.